a powerful and deeply personal moment on Capitol Hill today. Arizona Senator Martha McSally, America's first female fighter pilot to fly in combat, coming forward today revealing she was raped by a superior officer while in the Air Force. Senator McSally, what she said and why she revealed it now. ABC's Mary Bruce on the Hill. Tonight, Martha McSally, a senator, a veteran, the first female Air Force pilot to fly in combat, shared that she privately bears another title. Like you, I am also a military sexual assault survivor. But unlike so many brave survivors, I didn't report being sexually assaulted. I didn't trust the system. I blamed myself. I was ashamed and confused. I thought I was strong, but felt powerless. The perpetrators abused their position of power in profound ways. And in one case, I was preyed upon and then raped by a superior officer. For years, she stayed silent. And when she did try to speak out, I was horrified at how my attempt to share generally my experiences were handled. I almost separated from the Air Force at 18 years over my despair. Like many victims, I felt the system was raping me all over again. And so let's bring in Mary Bruce. She's up on the Hill tonight. And Mary, the Air Force is responding tonight to Senator McSally. And David, they say they are appalled and deeply sorry for what Senator McSally experienced and that they are steadfast in their commitment to eliminating this behavior. But David, this behavior is on the rise. In 2017, there were nearly 7,000 reported sexual assaults in the military, a record high. Mary Bruce tonight. Mary, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.